57-year-old Zainu bin Atan has been a volunteer caretaker at this grave in Mount Faber since 1999. It is believed to be the resting place of Javanese princess Putri Radhanmas Ayu. This place become a Malay Koran Kramat or a shrine. A shrine. So we have to, you know, I have to take care because we have to respect. Even though until now they, she is still a royal family. According to Zainul, the Javanese king and his daughter Radhan Mas came to Tamasik hundreds of years ago following the death of his wife. He remarried the daughter of Singapore's king, but jealous of his lingering love for his dead wife and his daughter, she told lies about Radhan Mas's father. He was then cast into a well and left to die. Suddenly, the, the family from Java visit Singapore and find out that Radin Mas is going to marry and they ask where is the father. And they, they tell lies, they say the father was not in Tamasi. Suddenly he got one small brother uh, in Singapore and the brother told this uh, Majapahit people that the father was in their well. Their well. So when they found the Pangeran Agung was in the, the dry, they get angry, then they start war here. Then the whole village and all the palace, they burned down. Until Radin Mas was accidentally killed. Radin Mas Ayu, so she buried here. She was buried here until now. Zainul watches over the shrine of Radin Mas every day and reads the Quran while praying that she rests in peace. He is the third person in his family to be entrusted with this responsibility. This is the... In 1950, what I get... This is 1950. See the tree? So the like tree. the four trees. Yeah, the four tree. This is the brick. Okay. Mm. Until 19. This is inside. Inside there. Mm. Inside there. So still have the two things. Yeah, there. the two tombs. This is the door they make. Mm. Now you go inside at the center there, and this is the structure they cover the structure. Not like this. The the thing was inside. Then 1990, this thing all give way. Okay. So this is the last shot. Last, the yes, place. last, all give way. Then I take out, I peep this one, the new one. Zainul's efforts to preserve this valuable piece of Singapore history is commendable. If not for guardians of history like him, Raymond and Charles, these graves and tombs may be forgotten forever.